This screencast video will show students how to use the simple peer review activity on Loop, how to add an entry to the peer review activity, and how to add a review on a classmate's entry. So to begin, I scroll to the particular section of the Loop page where I can find the peer review activity, and I click on the link to open it. I can see I have some instructions at the top of the page, which I should read in detail. This includes how to title my entry, how to add my review and how to structure my review, and also details on where I can get some additional support. Scrolling down, I can see I don't have any entries yet to review. I am in a two-person group with a colleague, and I appear to be the first person here to actually post my own entry. In this case, my entry is a draft of an assignment that I am seeking some peer feedback on. So to begin, I click Add Entry. And scrolling down, I'm presented with a title field. And in it, I should add the title of my draft assignment as per the instructions. And in the large empty text box, I should paste in my draft assignment, which I have already typed up. In Microsoft Word. So switching over to my Microsoft Word, I simply select all of the text in my assignment and I click the copy symbol to copy it and I return to loop in my web browser and clicking into the large text box I simply hit Control and V on my keyboard and that pastes in the body of my draft assignment directly into the peer review activity. So I then scroll down and click save and view. Scrolling down again, I can see there's my title for my entry and there's the body of my assignment. So what I need to do now is let my partner know that my entry is available and that they can go ahead and read it and provide me with some feedback. Some time has passed, I need to go back into the peer review activity to retrieve the feedback that my partner has given me and also to leave a review on my partner's work. So again on the loop page, scroll down to where the peer review activity is hosted and click the link to access it. When inside the activity, scroll down and click view single. And when I scroll down again, I can see I have two pages in the activity. The first page which I'm currently viewing is of course my own entry of my draft assignment which I have pasted in to the activity. And when I scroll down I can see a new section has appeared under my entry and this is the review that my partner has left me. So I can read the review, take on board the feedback and go away and refine my own draft assignment as a result. Of course, another thing I need to do is to actually add a review for my partner's work. So to do that, I use the index at the bottom of the entry to move on to the next page in the activity. And on this page, I can see there's an entry from my partner, Ben Boyce, the draft of his assignment. So scrolling through the activity, I can read the draft assignment, take it on board, refer to the existing criteria around what sort of feedback I should be giving. And when I'm ready to add a review, I simply click add review. I'm now on the screen where I can edit the entry. So I see there is Ben's draft assignment. And when I keep scrolling down the page, I can see a large empty text box has appeared into which I can type my review. So I have finished my review for Ben using the headings that were described in the instructions and I have bolded them inside in the text box to make them stand out. And when I'm ready to add that review to Ben's entry, I simply scroll down and click add review. And when I do that, I can see that at the end of Ben's draft assignment, is the review that I have left him. And now he can go in and read this review, take on board the feedback and refine his own assignment. And of course, when both of us have refined our assignments, we need to go back to the loop page and make the final formal submission of our assignments.